Okay, so I just got done um, pouring this wonderful pour and I filmed my intro, showed some close-up shots holding the camera of doing ring pours with the paint in the cup, but when I put it back on the stand, the camera that is, I forgot to press record so you guys didn't get to see the rest of the pour. So uh, yeah, that that's fun. Uh, very discouraged with that. Um, so today, <laughs> We're gonna try again, but it's a different style canvas. I have a 20 by 20 inch canvas here. It is uh, gallery wrapped, but it is also, um, you know, not not the deep edge. It's the skinny edge. Now I've uh, put some water on the back and uh, I'm going to use possibly some leftover paints, but we're gonna start layering a cup and see where we go. In fact, I'm just gonna pull whatever paints I have around me to make this bad boy work. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of white in the center, maybe a little more, you know. And then we're gonna come in with 24K gold. We're gonna try and fill this lovely cup up with leftover paints. Hopefully I have enough. Let's come in with some deep turquoise. And some metallic sapphire. We're gonna mix up some more of that, so we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So I've layered the white and the deep turquoise. I'm gonna add a little more of the freshly mixed up uh, metallic sapphire. And let's see here. I have some Prussian blue here. We're gonna come in with the gold. A little bit of, actually the white is a little, let me stir that up. I had to put a little bit of water in there to loosen it up. Had thickened. All right. I come in with amethyst. I've got some dioxazine purple here. Come in with the uh, Prussian blue, metallic sa uh, sapphire. And I've got some bright yellow green here. We'll see if that does anything. Oh, I'm not sure if it will. Amethyst, dioxazine purple, metallic sapphire. Let's do a little more than that. I'm gonna come in with some white. And let's do some gold on top of that. And that's all we're really gonna need because, well, that's probably more than enough at this point. I always have, um, I always paint a 20 by 20 with a 16 ounce cup. And that is specifically for the reason of being able to control and work with composition. If you only have enough paint on your canvas to cover your canvas, um, then your composition, you can't work with it as well. At least I can't, so that that's me. All right, and uh, here we go. I get a little bit closer when it comes to that green.
All right, cute little thing in the middle there. So I'm going to do a little negative space around it. I've got some leftover black here I can use. All right, we are looking good here. I'm gonna come up over here. here we're not gonna go over if I can help it just yet and we're gonna bring it back to center and we're gonna come down to that opposite corner which will be your bottom left and back again to center we're gonna go off the corner where we started our tilting process. Come back to center. wipe my hands off. I don't want to drip on the composition. Let me see here. Now I'm going to come down here first. I'm not going to follow my normal general rule of thumb, which is follow the same route that you took originally, because I want to stretch out some of those cells down there. Now I'm bringing it all the way back to this corner. like it, but there just seems to be a lot of turquoise going on here.
Okay, so uh, I think this is it, guys. Um, I liked getting rid of some of that turquoise. It was just too much. I'm gonna do another one, maybe with a little less turquoise, of course. But this is all so beautiful in here, all the multiple colors. It's almost like peacock. And then the variegated lines in here that have the deep sapphire, or I'm sorry, the metallic sapphire in between really is beautiful. So let's see here. I've got a bunch left in here. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that. I'm gonna get a scoopy thing here and get my corners and edges. We'll bring you guys in. Okay guys, here we are. Ooh. All these beautiful nooks and crannies. Loving it. And I'm not um, as annoyed with all the turquoise this time as I did uh, remove some of it. It looks so much darker on camera, but I hope on the screen it looks better on your view. But all of this metallic sapphire in here, all of these variegated beautiful lines. So I'm super happy with this. I love the boulder cells. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you soon. Bye.